The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us say the collect for purity together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning and welcome, my brothers and sisters, to our Sunday worship. Today we celebrate as the second Sunday before Lent. That means we are very close to the season of Lent. Warm welcome to you all, and especially the members of you know, the Mother's Union. We are going to do a very special things later. Just wait for, um, wait for, for me. <laughs> I'm going to, um, to tell you all about what we're going to do um, the later. And also, we always extend our warm welcome to all those who are following our service online. Now, it's a time for us to make our penitential prayer before we go any farther. Let us have the moment of quietness and ask the Lord to forgive all our guilt. We say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, 
you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit reigns supreme over all things now and forever. Amen. Now please be seated for the scripture reading. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, when no plant of the field was yet in the earth, and no herb of the field had yet sprung up, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no one to till the ground. But a stream would rise from the earth and water the whole face of the ground, then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east. And there he put the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground, the Lord God made to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to till it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, you may freely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat it, you shall die. Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the ground the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird of the air and brought them to the man to see what he could, would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and to the birds of the air, and to every animal of the field. But for the man there was not found a helper as his partner. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. Then he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman. For out of man this one was taken. Therefore a man leaves his father and his mother and clings to his wife, and they become one flesh. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. A reading from the book of Revelation. After this I looked, and there in heaven a door stood open, and the first voice, which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet, said, Come up here and I will show you what must take place after this. At once I was in the spirit, and there in heaven stood a throne, with one seated on the throne. And the one seated there looks like Jasper, 
and carnelian. And around the throne is a rainbow that looks like an emerald. Around the throne are 24 thrones. And seated on the thrones are 24 elders, dressed in white robes with golden crowns on their heads. Coming from the throne are flashes of lightning and rumblings and peals of thunder. And in front of the throne burn seven flaming torches, which are the seven spirits of God. And in front of the throne, there is something like a sea of glass, like crystal. Around the throne and on each side of the throne are four living creatures, full of eyes in front and behind. The first living creature, like a lion, the second living creature, like an ox. The third living creature, with a face like a human face. And the fourth living creature, like a flying eagle. And the four living creatures, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes all around and inside. Day and night, without ceasing, they sing, Holy, 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 the Lord God, the Almighty, who was and is and is to come. And whenever the living creatures give glory and honour and thanks to the one who is seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall before the one who is seated on the throne and worship the one who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, singing, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Now, if you can, would you please stand for the Gospel reading. Son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day, Jesus got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out, and while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A gale swept down on the lake, and the boat was filling with water, and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up, shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing! And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased, and there was a calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed, and said to one another, Who then is this that he commands, and even the winds and the water, and they obey him? This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. May 
I speak in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, please be seated. I hope、um, all of you are enjoying the peaceful, <laughs> peaceful half term. <laughs> How was your half term? I could see a big smile and、oh, you name it, Father Tamin. Oh. <laughs> Have you received any special gift from God this week? No. Well, I know that triplets. Yes, a baby is not soon, but you know that's a good thing. Oh, we have a triplets, <laughs> but they're all happy and then the same. That's good. Okay. Apart from that, some of you have you received any special gift? Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh really? So when was it? Right. Oh, the light. Oh, I see. That's good. So when, when, when did you receive that gift? I want to see. Okay. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Put, put,、uh, put, is it? Oh, life. Oh, that's good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, sometimes. Sometimes I'm I'm not really ready for a deep theological conversation this morning, but let me ask you a bit more specific questions. Have you received any gift, physical thing, last two days? Yeah, the wind, hurricanes. Have you received any gift? Because I saw some Facebook message. I think it's a kind of joke. Someone saying this. Oh, I don't know actually what to do with my caravan in my garden because it was not here last night. <laughs> so <laughs> I saw that. I saw that a、um, couple of days ago, and then I wasn't here, so I was away. So I thought, hang on a minute, this is really good. Who knows? If I go back to my home, I may have found something, and then I was thinking like this: Okay, if that things happened in the vicarage garden, that is definitely God's gift to a very faithful vicar, okay? Because I want to have a caravan, and then if that is somewhere, if I found that caravan in churchyard, that means that caravan is for mission. I'm not going to claim that as my own, so I prayed really hard, and when I came back here, I found nothing. But I received a text message from one of our church wardens. Oh, Father Tamin, I checked the church all well. Thank God, yes, we are here. And then he sent me another text message. Oh, but we have lost our church notice board. <laughs> So、our church notice board on the Hubbard Road, the red one, is gone. So if you see, if you heard anything about our church notice board, please let me or church wardens know so that we can go and claim that one. Okay? <laughs> But wind, anyway, wind is hilarious, isn't it? The wind can change so many things, especially. If you are on a small boat, not a huge boat, even if that is a big, you know, big kind of, you know,、um, cruise, whatever, wind is actually make things worse because it. Oh gosh! And then I was at some point with、um, with my son. Where, where is he? And、um, with my son, we、um, were in a kind of a small fishing boat. It was okay. As you just cruise across the,、um, you know,、uh, the huge, you know, the water, and then the wind blows, and then the boat was like this, tum, 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 woo, tum, tum, and then the water going in, and I could, absolutely, one hundred percent, I could agree more what is written today's gospel story. There is a really strong wind, and then, oh yes, say, let's 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 go this one first. When you say, when you say, Jesus saying, "Okay, let's cross the lake," that lake from here to the other side is this. It's not a small p 
ponds or anything. It's quite huge. And then that time, 2,000 years ago, it was not the 15 you know, horsepower outraging motors or nothing. They have to pull this. Or if they are lucky, if there's a wind, boom, and then they can go. So everything is manual. So crossing the lake, crossing the lake for the Jordan side, on the other side, that is quite a bit of work. And a while, Jesus' disciples was rowing, whatever, and then Jesus fell asleep. <laughs> fell asleep. And then the gusty wind, gale, it says. The wind blew. And then, I'm not joking, and then the gospel, today's gospel, Luke's gospel, Luke was not sort of a person who will over-exaggerate things. Luke's gospel said there was in danger. They were in danger because it was just so like this. But now, interesting things you will see. What they did. Jesus' disciples, they were doing that. And then they realized that, okay, we may be in trouble. Yes, we are in trouble. We may die. And what they did? They walk Jesus up. They walk him up. Oh, come on. Lord, look at us. Wake up. And then what happened? Jesus rebuked the wind and then the water. And then there was a calm. And then Jesus asked this question to his disciples, to us, including us. He said, where is your faith? Ah. How many times, dear my friends, including myself, how many times we go and wake him up? Because we realize that we are in danger. How many times we go and ask the Lord to help me because I'm in danger? How many times we go and offer some prayers because some of you or some of whom you knew are in danger? How many times I see people knocking on the vicarage door and coming to me and ask, Father, can I go into the church for what? For cleaning? No, to light the candle. Why? Because blah, 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 blah. Where is your faith? So this morning, what I love to do is to encourage you to think about our faith a bit more proactively. Okay? Proactively. Don't go and ask the Lord to help you or me Try not to do it, okay? Because I don't think God will be happy if there is a someone who always coming to me because he or she is in trouble. I will simply call that person a very needy person. Of course, I know God is not like me. He is different. Of course, we know that. But still, let us think in that way. Why don't we, each and every one of us, the member of our community. Why don't we change the pattern of we talk to God? We used to face the trouble and go to talk to God to ask Him to help me. Can we change it? Shall we go to the Lord and say, Thank you, Lord, for everything that you gave it to me. And then we will be able to well equipped with his spirit then any issues we will be able to deal with a bit of faith do you see the patterns i think that is the good thing that we should try especially the season of lent is coming i already mentioned it it's the second sunday before ash wednesday so the Lent is fast approaching, and I already told you, during this, you know, um, this Lent, we're going to think about how we can revitalize our faith. There's no such thing called faith that we can describe. That faith that you and I, we claim, is the faith that requires us to move and act. 
Do you remember what we, what we shared last Sunday? During the, um, um, the parade Sunday? Beatitude. We need actions. We need to be gentle. We need to be loving. We need to be humble. And we need to be kind. And then these are the things that we must do it, not just think and forget about. So, this morning, after that gusty wind, in reality, and also in the Gospel reading, after this strong wind, let us think about how can we do our faith proactively? How can we build our relationship with the Lord before we fell into the trouble? How can we have the strength and wisdom and love of God first? Then we will go out and face the whole world as Christ's disciples. It's a very similar thing. But which one first, like a chicken or eggs? I think so. But at least this coming season of Lent, we should try how to behave properly as a Christian people. I think that would be a wonderful challenge for each and every one of us, of course, including myself. So, dear my friends, thank you for offering your prayers and then everything. But like you, well, like other, you know, Jesus' disciples, that's what normal people would do. But the member of our community, we are going to be a bit more proactive. And we're going to ask the Lord to give us strength to think and act with the faith of Christ. Okay, now, before we, before I, normally this is the time for me to ask you to um, stand and then um, some prayers or the, um, um, you know, the creed, but I told you already at the beginning of the service, we've got something to do. Now, may I invite um, the Margaret Blasey to come up and then give us a bit of, you know, um, the story. Now, as you walk towards the lecterns, I'm going to prepare myself with these lovely... Can you actually help me? Can you hold that? Yeah. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, if yeah. you remember, or I, don't, I can't remember how many years ago now, uh, when we had these beautiful new chairs, we collected the money in the congregation, um, it rolled in and we was able to uh, purchase all these chairs and at the time um, a few of us were saying well, we've got these lovely chairs to sit on but unfortunately the choir had, didn't have anything nice to sit on um, so perhaps we'd have a collection and we put a, a request out to the congregation <coughs> for donations um, for um, the uh, Mother's Union would then make the choir cushions for them to sit on um, we collected quite a lot of money and then, oh dear, COVID came along <laughs> and put, paid to anything that we were planning to do because the choir cushions would have to be made with two or three of us at least sitting together. So rather than leave the money sitting there doing absolutely nothing, we then thought again and we thought, well, um, the uh, annealer could be done individually at home. So for the time being, we would make kneelers, the kneelers to go round the altar, um, new kneelers for there. And then we will look for the choir cushions in the future. Um, at the moment, as you know, we haven't got a choir, but I'm sure we will have. You know, think positive, we will have a choir soon. And uh, we will then look at perhaps raising a bit more money um, for um, making the choir cushions. So. Um, very pleased to say, as I say, it was donations from the congregation and the Mother's Union have sat and made these, I think, beautiful kneelers um, for round the altar. And that's our gift Brilliant. to the church. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can just, let, let's clap for the effort of all those who made these wonderful kneelers. Yes. So, Brilliant. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. What I'm going to do is, we will, before we actually begin to use these nilas, well, I think that's a good way for us to be a bit proactive. 
<laughs> you know why. But um, before we actually use this nila, and we're going to bless them. But in order for me to bless um, these um, the millers, I would need some helper. Uh, and then it's a time for me to um, embarrass someone. I know when I was 16 years old, I was extremely shy. And if my vicar asked me to come up and stand in front of everybody holding the needles, probably you'd see me just disappearing through the back door. But before I see him moving, can I invite Nathan to come up here? Come on, Nathan, don't be shy. Nathan celebrated um, 16th birthday. Come on, boy. No. Come on, young man. <laughs> Yesterday. So how was your birthday? I said, what? Good. When I first came here, you was like this. And then and now, I don't want to go down. You know why. Yeah? Because if I go down, I don't want to actually <laughs> begin to... <laughs> so I'm going to stay here. But, come on, turn around. I want to make sure that you feel embarrassed. So shall we sing the happy birthday song to him? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Nathan. Happy birthday to you. Now, Nathan, turn around. Come on. You hold these because I, I want you to hold this one so that I can sprinkle them with the holy water. You okay? Yeah, now, can you give them? Okay, now, hold this one. You are actually holding these lovely kneelers for all of us. Dear my friends, please join me in offering in prayers. You don't need to stand. Let us listen to the Lord as he speaks to us. When you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see him. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room and when you have shut your door, Pray to your Father who is in that secret place, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. This is from the Matthew's Gospel. Dear my friends, let us pray. O Father in heaven, we praise you for sending your Spirit into our hearts to teach us to pray. Bless these kneelers. And teach us to use them as an aid to sincere and devoted prayer. May we continue to grow in prayer and be pleasing to you in our lives. All praise and glory are yours, Father, through Christ our Savior, in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you for holding these lovely pillars. And once again, happy birthday. And nothing personal. I always say this. Okay. Now, I know you got some, um, you know, the injury on your ligament. I pray that you may heal as soon as possible. Okay. I'll go back to you. Now, dear my friends. Oh, that's good. The last time um, when we blessed something was um, our Charles Bull, the pink Charles Bull. And then the person who donated that one was holding there. And it was like a black Charles Bull as well. And, and then um, the person was completely got soaked with uh, you know, the holy oil. It's great fun. Now, dear my friends, um, let us offer some prayers of intercessions um, together. 
If you um, want to use your kneeler, please feel free, free to use kneeler. Other than that, please be seated as we offer some prayers. I'm going to invite Margaret to come back to the front now. Thank you. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Almighty God, we pray for the worldwide church in all its wonderful diversity. We pray for those that meet in difficult and dangerous circumstances. May they feel your abiding presence to give them courage and strength in their faith. We pray for all Christian leaders and remember especially the bishops and clergy in the London Diocese, particularly Father Taman here at St George's. We give thanks for his leadership and guidance. We pray for your blessing upon this congregation and its ministry, and that your joy and love will flow freely in all and through us, and that we might never be seen by those around us as failing short of the teachings of Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, we bring before you in our prayers those who have been entrusted with special responsibilities for the life of our nations throughout the world. May world leaders value peace above power, equality more than status, their people's welfare more than personal ambition. We pray for all who are caught up in conflict throughout the world. We remember in our prayers today the Queen and her family. We ask that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our families and friends. We ask that your love may surround us and help us to show our love and thanks to you by our care and concern for others. We thank you for the work of the Mother's Union throughout the world. And in the words of Mary Sumner, founder of the Mother's Union, it's personal prayer, which says, all this day, O Lord, let me touch as many lives as possible for thee. And every life I touch, do thou by thy spirit quicken, whether through the word I speak, the prayer I breathe, or the life I live. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, our healer, we pray, place in your gentle hands all those who are sick or suffering at this time. Ease their pain and heal the damage done to them in body, mind, or spirit. Be present to them through the support of friends and in the care of doctors and nurses and fill them with the warmth of your love, now and always. We have been asked to pray for Michael Shine, Brenda Dowsett, Francis Akinumi, Barbara Baker, Derek Rich, Russell Trotman, Jim Wallace, Malachi Reed Gray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear us as we remember, remember those who have died in the faith of Christ. Most recently, Diana Jones, Alan Brereton, Iris Little, and Jenny Shulmain. Welcome, Lord, into your calm and peaceful kingdom, all those who out of this present life have departed to be with you. You gave them breath and loved them through their lives. Receive them in your infinite tenderness and give them peace. We also remember those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Lawrence Neary, Victoria Courage, 
Marjorie Hobbs, George Hammond, Sydney Goodchild, Edith Mays, Leonard Munday, Robin Sharp, Reg Reginald Buckle, John Raccoon, Elsie Miller, Sheila Wooding, Amelia Green, Albert Todd, Paul Courage, Arthur Kimberley, Baden Stiff, Ivy Palmer, Lotha Pockran, Frederick Ward, Gladys Bowen, Jenkin Jones, Charles Moxie, Thomas Petz, Potts, sorry, Doris Ackroyd, Thomas Mead, Nina Simons, Harold Hall, and Leslie Page. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and, and let, let light, light perpetual, perpetual shine upon, upon them. them. Amen. Amen. Everlasting God, send us out into the world, renewed by our worship and strengthened by our fellowship, so that we may be a testament to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers, prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Would you please stand um, for peace? God has made us one in Christ. He has set his seal upon us and as a pledge of what is to come, has given the Spirit to dwell in our hearts. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Now let us offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you.
Oh Lord be with you and also with you lift up your hearts we lift them to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right to give thanks and praise Father we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth, and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you things. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, 
his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world and rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving we bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you send the holy spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of mary the virgin mother of god the apostles the martyrs saint george and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through jesus christ our lord by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the holy spirit all honor and glory be yours almighty father forever and ever amen let us pray with confidence as our savior himself has taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen we break this bread to share in the body of christ though we are many we are one body because we all share in one bread Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, our Creator, by your gift, the tree of life was set at the heart of the earthly paradise and the bread of life at the heart of your church. May we, who have been nourished at your table on earth, be transformed by the glory of the Saviour's cross and enjoy the delights of eternity through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Irene. Good morning, everyone. Um, a warm welcome to anyone that is new to us today. We have um, tea and coffee afterwards. If you can please join us, you're welcome. Um, palm crosses. Next Sunday is the last day to bring your palm crosses. So if you can please um, bring it in. I'm sure, Father, we can. Maybe we we'll still have. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> My mind has been blown away. So. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, we have the ladies uh, out in. There is a change of venue. Uh, we are now having it local. We're going to Watam Cross. So if you want to join us, please let me know. Um, by the close of day or within the week, that will be fine because we're trying to you know, wrap, uh, confirm the uh, booking. So if you can please let me know if you're joining us. Uh, men's breakfast is next Saturday. Um, they're going to uh, Toby at, uh, at um, A10. If you can let uh, David or Father know in terms of transport, yeah, um, those who are going, there's still time for you to let them know if you want to join them on Saturday. We have a pancake, oh, shit, yeah. pancake day on the first. My God, time is coming. <laughs> yeah, things are, you know, building up. So pancake day is on the first of March. So if um, it's for, for the kids, but adults, please, we need some help. The time is 6.15 to 7.45. So if you can help setting up. Uh, helping with activities, please let myself or Dave or Father know. Ash Wednesday is on the 2nd of March. That is, uh, we have two services, 10 a.m. and 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m. So, um, yeah, just to let you know. And uh, I know people will say, oh, it's in April. We have family activities also, just to let you know. Uh, 2nd of April, so um, Dave is organizing that, so I think as time goes on, more things will be on the, on the notice sheets, so look out for that. And yesterday, just to say thank you to everyone that came to uh, help with the cleaning yesterday. Thank you very much, and we need more people, please, so that we'll be able to do more things, you know, clean other areas instead of just hoovering and, uh, and just um, cleaning the floor. We have other you know, cobwebs where we need to clean. So more hands, more hands are needed, please, if you can. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the, um, the men's breakfast. I thought we were going to um, you know, one of the you know, very posh hotels. No? No? Oh, I got the wrong information. <laughs> okay, brilliant. And then everything is, is there, just to refer that, um, you know, the back of you know, your weekly, you know, the it, all the information are there. Um, would you please stand um, to, 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 no, hang on a minute, no, no. 
final blessing. Thank you. <laughs> All right. The Lord be with you. Christ, the Son of God, born of Mary, fill you with his grace to trust his promises and obey his will and the blessing of God the Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Now, Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Now we're going to sing our final hymn, hymn number 231. Oh.